and I say again, good morning, children of God. I have a message for you. I brought a picture with me. Does anybody know what this is a picture of? Oh, yeah, this is a picture of Miriam, my little one. And I'll let you all pass it yourselves <laughs> so you don't have to do the whole thing. Miriam is five months old. Do you know what a five month old can do? <laughs> Not a whole lot that is helpful. <laughs> She's gotten really good at rolling. And the other day, my spouse was sitting in the recliner and uh, we realized she rolled under it. She's gotten really good at putting things in her mouth. And yesterday, she pulled my sock off my foot and put that in her mouth. There's not a whole lot she can do to take care of herself on her own. Me, Arthur and I spend a lot of our time caring for Miriam. She is very vulnerable. In a few minutes, I will be reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And there are two different stories there. One where people are asking Jesus about marriage and divorce, and another about Jesus welcoming children and blessing. In both of these stories, we hear that Jesus cares for those who are vulnerable, the ones who cannot stand up for themselves or care for themselves. In the stories we will hear, he is worried about the women and the children. Who else can you think of that might be vulnerable? People with a disability, whether they can't walk or they can't see, they can't communicate. What was that? Those who are sick. They might normally be able to care for themselves, but at that time when they are sick, they may need someone else. Who else is vulnerable? Oh, those who are grieving. Things that happen to them might be even bigger, or they can't cope with things they normally could. The elderly, those who are older, especially as they can no longer care for themselves or live on their own. Those who can't read. There are so many people in our world who are vulnerable, and we know that Jesus cares for them and calls all of us to also help care for them. Because these people belong in the kingdom of God. Let's pray. You can repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God thank you for caring for us. Thank you for caring for us. Help us to care, help us to care. for those who cannot care for themselves. Amen. Amen. Remember that God goes with you everywhere you go.